it's always nice when you can have several different titles and accolades on your resume. And it's no different for Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, he's a former first-round pick. He broke numerous receiving records in his first couple of years. Uh, he is once the highest-paid receiver in the league, a uh, Super Bowl champion, a pro bowler, all pro, all that good stuff. But who knew that recruiter would be on his list of accolades as well. Uh, yesterday, we all heard the press conference uh, that featured one John Harbaugh, Justin Matabike, and Ravens' new receiver, Odell Beckham Jr. And this would be the second time that we heard from Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, in a presser, and he had his recruiting hat on. He really did. Uh, because Josina Anderson, who she, she has been covering Odell Beckham Jr. throughout his entire career, um, and she has just been on it. She was there uh, at the castle yesterday, and the very last question that was asked, it was actually not supposed to even be the last question. Uh, they, they were like, oh, one more, and somebody asked a different question, and then Josina went after them. So this was like a bonus question, but I appreciate it because they saved the best for last. She asked him, have you had any exchanges or suggestions with DeAndre Hopkins? And as far as meaning like, oh, have you told him what team he should go to, any suggestions that he could go to, anything like that? And Odell Beckham Jr. said, we were both in Arizona, and we were joking way before the draft even happened about possibly both going here to the Baltimore Ravens. And um, obviously, if he's talking about way before the draft, uh, that's when DeAndre Hopkins was still an Arizona Cardinal. So he, he was not a free agent back then. So that is significant. But anyway, uh, he continued and said, uh, I don't know what happens from here. That's not really my call. Uh, I'm not the coach or GM. I do know that he was craving to be able to play football again since he had a shorter season last year. I think he can still ball from what I've seen when we were working out. So Odell Beckham Jr. with that, that slick recruitment pitch. And let me tell you why uh, it, it's slick, because this is not the first time that Odell Beckham Jr. has said those words as a receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. Because if I take you back, now I know the situations are completely different. I get that. But if I take you back uh, about, what, a month and change ago, when Odell Beckham Jr., first time with the Baltimore Ravens, he had his first press conference, and they kept asking him questions about Lamar, Lamar, Lamar. What's up with Lamar? What's going to happen with Lamar? Do you think Lamar's going to be here? And he said, oh, I, I want Lamar to be here. I, I hope it works out with the contract and everything, but... I'm not a GM. I'm not a coach. That's up for them to decide. That's not my job. So pretty much the same exact thing that he said about DeAndre Hopkins. So it seemed like Odell, like, hey, Ravens, if you want to make the move, go ahead and make the move, baby. And he threw in there, oh, yeah, yeah, he can still ball out. He's been craving to play football. And, man, like, again, DeAndre Hopkins on his list that he said, not anybody else on the list that DeAndre Hopkins said, Ravens, they meet the criteria for everything that he was looking for. So we'll see exactly what happens. But I appreciated that from one Odell Beckham Jr. Now, just getting into the rest of the presser uh, from Odell. Um, he was just very uh, happy to be back. And he said it from the jump. He's just happy to be back in the building. Um, he said he was coming in with the mindset that we're all professionals. And he just wanted to get back to having fun. Now, somebody asked about um, developing chemistry. Can you develop some kind of chemistry this week? Uh, and Odell said uh, chemistry will develop over time. And he said he'll be down in South Florida working with Lamar. Maybe I might run into them. We'll see. Anyway, uh, he said they talked about it all off season. Now, as far as the certain amount of work that he plans on doing this week, he didn't really have a certain number, certain things he wanted to accomplish, anything like that. Uh, and he continued to stress that they have the whole off season before the season starts. So season ain't starting tomorrow. Season ain't starting next month. Season ain't even starting for the next two months. Like, after this mini camp, that's it. They got a long break all the way up until training camp. So, yeah, today and tomorrow, that's it. But anyway, until training camp, that is. Um, they, he was asked about uh, what percent he's at health-wise. And he said he doesn't actually give a number uh, to what percent he's feeling. He just said it feels good to be able to get out of bed and not feel any pain. And he said if he uh, had to take all running... Then he could take off running. I was like, that—that that is the the blackest thing that you could probably say, man. <laughs> but I appreciated it though, man. But um, with Odell, uh, he kept and he reiterated it several times because he got asked by a couple of different people about like where he was at health wise and whatnot, what percent you was at, and um, he just said that he said that feels like a setup question. Like if you put if if he were to put a number on it, 
Uh, he just felt like it's, it's a setup question, so he just stayed away from that. Even when Josina Anderson asked, too. I know him and Josina Anderson, they super cool, but um, he even stayed away from it when she asked, too. So I was like, oh, yeah, he really ain't trying to answer that question. Uh, he was asked about what his familiarity with the offense is, and he said it's been a while, but uh, it's all the same. Football's all the same. It's just different verbiage in different places. Uh, he said he's definitely fast. He said he don't know who's faster between him and Lamar. All right, now, Odell, don't, okay, man. I don't know about that one, man. I think I know, but hey, we'll see. Um, he said it was a tough road having to have surgery, and then uh, his son was born three to four days later after the surgery. So that's tough, man. So you can't even really move that much. You can't, and I mean, when your kid's a baby, they can't move that much either. Uh, they just always in your arms or in the crib or in the bassinet or whatever. But um, that's that, that that's tough, man. You can't even really walk around with your kid like that because you got to take care of your leg. So that must have been real tough. He said what happened at the Super Bowl sucked. He said he was uh, super locked in. He said his family had said they'd never seen him locked in like that before. Um, and he talked about how he just knew he was going to be the best player on that field that day. And he was. Uh, and he said that he hopes to get an, an op another opportunity to be in the Super Bowl this year, but this time to finish it. And yeah, hey, we, we hope for the same thing for you, Odell. Um, he said Lamar was the reason that he signed here. And he said that uh, he's been watching Lamar since Louisville. Uh, and he said Lamar has that it to him, that it factor. And that's special. That's real special. I mean, we all know Lamar got that. But just confirmation from Odell. That's nice. Uh, he was told that Lamar said he'll be throwing more than running uh, ever than ever before. Uh, and he was asked, as Lamar, well, Lamar is a passer. What impressed you about him? And Odell said he just plays quarterback. He's been playing it his whole life. And he said, I'll take 10 passes over 10 runs all the time. And he said, I'm all for it. But at the same time, he said, it's, it's definitely about winning games. So whatever it takes. So that's a very receiver-esque answer. Uh, and he says he knows what his role is. A great leader is also a great follower. And he said, it's a lot of talent in the room. It'll be a lot of competition for spots. And said, they all have to work together. And yeah, that's the beautiful thing about just having a plethora of uh, wide receivers. N not much will be given. A lot of it will be earned. Like Odell Beckham Jr., obviously, he's going to be one of the starters. Rashad Bateman, he's going to be one of the starters. But after that, it seemed like it's a big toss-up. Uh, he was asked about Bateman, young wide receiver coming back from injury. And the guy said, you have a lot of experience with that. And I was like, ooh, well, I mean, that's true. But I was like, ooh, okay, now. Uh, but he said, have you given him any advice or talk, to, talk with him on that? Uh, and Odell said, injuries are different, and there can be a fear that you don't want to have that same injury again. Uh, but the only way to really conquer it is to just dive all the way in, back into playing football. So you can't really think about it. It's, it, it's tough not to, but you just got to jump back in. And I know, um, especially yesterday with the whole, the, I'm going to call it cortisone gate, because it's like I know a lot of Ravens fans are tripping over that. Uh, and I get the concern, uh, but at the same time, it's still early. It's very early, but I know I've seen a lot of Ravens fans saying, hey, this is why we need to sign DeAndre Hopkins. Like me, I was talking about DeAndre Hopkins before we even heard about this whole shot that Rashad Bateman got. But um, So I'm, I'd be down for DeAndre even before that, but I know a lot of Ravens fans were um, justifying bringing in DeAndre Hopkins because of that. And again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready anymore to marry you. Quality, y'all already know. Um, but we'll see. And uh, what's been your favorite thing about being a dad? And, and Odell said, every moment. Uh, watching his daily development, it's crazy to see your little human grow up in front of your eyes. And you can't wait to be done with work and spend time with him. That's true. Uh, now, where does your confidence come from? And Odell Beckham Jr. said, I've been doubted all my life, and the time off allowed me to grow and learn. said his last season was long, his, his longest season. And he said he told Cooper Cup that he was glad the Super Bowl was the last week because he told Cooper Cup like he couldn't do another week of football. So, oh, that that boy's playing through some pain right there, man. That, that sounds harsh. Um, but anyway, and then of course after that, that's when uh, Joe Cena asked the question about DeAndre Hopkins. So, yeah, man, it was nice to actually finally see Odell Beckham Jr. in the Ravens jersey yesterday. Um, and they they talked about. I know Jeff brought it up in an article that he posted today on the Athletic um, that said Odell Beckham Jr. had fell down, and everybody was kind of like looking around real quick. Uh, but then he got up, he got on one knee, and he was laughing about it, and then he did some push-ups. So it was a big sigh of relief. And I, and I know that's how it's going to be, too, uh, throughout many camps these next two days and then training camp, all of that stuff. It, it's going to be a lot of people holding their breath, oh, Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bates, just every, everybody, uh, because just of recent history. So hopefully that recent history can be changed uh, and everybody can be nice and healthy. And this season, because, like, again, the, the biggest thing with this season, health, health. 
health, health, health. So we'll see how things go. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I, I, I really, really appreciate all the comments. Uh, hoping that we get better. <laughs> I hope we get better. I do feel a little better from yesterday. I, I, I feel stomach-wise, it's not nearly as queasy as it was yesterday. Um, now I feel like maybe I got like feel like a little bit of like sinus, like a little tiny bit of a little baby cold or something like that. We'll see though. Um, but yeah, I do feel a lot better. Carter, um, he got really good sleep last night, uh, and he just he seemed like he's doing a lot better. My wife. Uh, she's, she's, she's a little rough right now, uh, cause she got like this, like cold or whatever. So, so yeah, man, we getting there though. So by the end of this week, hopefully we'll be all good to go. Um, but yeah, so yeah, just want to give y'all an update. I appreciate all the comments. I'm, I'm, I apologize that I cannot respond to all the comments that y'all put in the comment section. My apologies for that. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, slow season because it's, after minicamp, stuff is going to slow down like a whole lot. So I'll be able to respond to more comments then. So I'm looking forward to that. And that's going to be the last slow period, like the last slow month and a half before things ramp up and they get extremely crazy like they do every single year. So y'all know how it goes. Y'all know how football season and football off season works. Cause y'all, so I ain't got to tell y'all, but just a nice reminder because uh, – when it's slow, it's like, and, and that's the thing, when, like last year, I remember last year, it was slow season, but it was just crazy. It was crazy. This off season is supposed to be slow season, but it's still been crazy. So even though I'm anticipating when it slows down, I anticipated to slow down, but it's probably still going to be a lot of craziness, like it always is. But we'll see how things go. I love y'all so much, team. Keep it clean. I really appreciate y'all like crazy, and we out.